In 2020, many of us were forced to adopt remote working and video collaboration technology. But many factors were leading to this growth, as changes like globalization and accessibility saw a rise in the adoption of video collaboration software. We spoke to Sanja Rao, Principal Product Manager for Personal and Small Room Devices for Microsoft Teams, to find out why video has seen such incredible growth. You know, the workplace has changed significantly over the past several years. Uh, workplaces are becoming more global. There's a global uh, workforce where maybe you have certain divisions in India or China and you're trying to collaborate with them here in the U.S. Um, in addition to that, uh, flexibility in how people work uh, has become more and more important. And so I think in general, the way people are working has been evolving. And, you know, with the advent of mobile phone and being on the go more and being able to take calls and meetings even on the go, uh, that's also been a huge contributor in terms of uh, how much work can be done outside of the office. Uh, we can also think about, you know, updates to broadband and Wi-Fi and, um, you know, how in your home you can actually have uh, a fairly robust uh, network so that you can do, uh, you can work from home in a much, in a much uh, easier way than maybe 20 years ago. Then, in March 2020, Microsoft Teams saw a staggering 374% growth in under three weeks hosting a record 2.7 billion minutes of global meetings in a single day. We wanted to find out what changes they've observed since the COVID-19 pandemic within the collaboration space. It was pretty crazy in the early days of COVID here in the US, uh, which was uh, beginning of March. And the leadership at Microsoft, I think, had the foresight to see some of it coming. And so actually our teams group had to start to work from home a lot earlier than most folks within Microsoft, as well as most folks across the US. Uh, we, we started working from home earlier to start to test uh, some of our services and systems to ensure that at least, you know, it could handle our entire organization. And then Microsoft quickly uh, went online to ensure that uh, you know we could we could service our entire company, and soon thereafter, many other organizations started to go online. And not only that, we started seeing a significant number of new organizations quickly migrating over to Teams, whether it was education institutions or healthcare institutions, or really many of the customers who were looking at teams and starting to migrate at teams, but that migration started uh, to essentially uh, accelerate in a, a significant way so that folks could bring their entire workforce over to teams really overnight. I, I like to say that there's nothing more essential, I think, when we think about work from home than a peripheral. And, you know, early on, I started to really realize this isn't just a device to make you sound better or, uh, you know, uh, make you look better on video. It's a device that can actually give you peace of mind. You know, in my home, I've got a dog, I've got kids, uh, you know, there's just a lot going on. My husband is also working. And to be able to really focus in a call, conference call and to be productive, having a headset where you can really block out all the noise around you, having a, a video camera where you know you're gonna look good regardless of what else is going on around you, uh, being able to use even some of those software aspects of background blur in conjunction with your peripherals, those things started to become incredibly critical to being productive, feeling engaged, and feeling good about working from home. So it's been a, a real wild ride, I would say, over the past few months to see the explosive growth in peripherals. We were sold out of many of our headsets in March and April because so many people were looking for something they could use at home to give them great audio quality as well as to give them peace of mind. A big thanks to Sanjay Rao from Microsoft, who's been sharing insights into the rise of Microsoft Teams, how Microsoft have reacted to the COVID-19 pandemic, and the biggest changes in remote collaboration.